I love the Chiefs right now. I love the Chiefs right now. They are playing exactly how I figure they're going to play. It's almost Marty Ballish. It is really almost Marty Ballish. Good defense and an offense that won't turn the ball over. More of a smash mouth football, short passes. Now, the one thing I wish he would do more is Marty liked to do a play action pass a lot, where Marty would do opening game or just get them off off their game by doing a play action with a 30 to 40 yard pass and he doesn't do that and that kind of does tick me off a little but the chiefs are playing some good ball let's get to our league though i didn't do a video last week so last week was the end of our second our first session the king of the mountain goes to travis weirs welcome back to the league travis and stealing a hundred dollars from us 200.4 points is what you mustered up to get the champ in any of my leagues you would not have won except this one so you got lucky hats off to you i actually have an itch and you won the pickums is a tie for the Oklahoma boys. Now, maybe if you get the money when you go home, you guys want to flip a coin, see if you want to just see if you can win it all. I don't know. But you're both getting 50 bucks. Good job, Josh and David. Session two has begun, and, you know, just like always, it's a tight race. Everyone, Pink Taco, you got 11 points with me and four other, three others with 10, three others with nine, and the rest with eight. So... It's pretty close. The uh, current king of the mountain is me, which will last literally a week. Because 165.5 points will get destroyed. Guarantee it. But speaking of, this week was really interesting. Because, first off, with my game, I played Wynum Dynam. I swear, if Wynum Dynam had David Johnson, I would have got smoked. But he didn't. I still thought I was going to get beat. Somehow, who was it that he had? Because it was like, it was a Sunday Sunday afternoon games. He had Drew Brees. He had uh, Tim Hightower, Kobe Fleener. He had um, one other player. Who the heck? I can't think of who. Anyway, and all I had was DeMarco Murray. And he... I think I was only up by five with a whole quarter to go for him. I was like, oh, I'm surely going to lose. Somehow, I beat him by ten. I'll take it. I will take it. Because Joe's team is a fierce-looking team. So thank you for letting me win. Pocket Rockets, of course, you continue on to win because you're the defending champion, and you're just so good. Even though your quarterback only got you 20 points, you still somehow managed 158 points. That's pretty nice. You beat Captain Insangos, who really struggles. He still put up 140 points, though. So hats off to you. But you still lost. Popsicles, your team is in first place. And I don't know how. I still don't know how. You had CJ Procise and TJ Yeldon as your running backs. I, Travis Benjamin got hurt. He's probably done. Your defense is supposed to be awesome, but they only got you one point. And you only got 116 points, but you still won because you played Dudu, who had a worse game somehow. How did you have a worse game? Because Des Bryant is not the Des Bryant that we think. He, Des Bryant will have a good game about every third week. And that's it. That is it. I wouldn't play him anymore. First name crap. Last name bag. Gets beat by Banana Part hot C part do and you know what Travis had Jeremy Macklin starting got a goose egg and still beat him I guess Dak Prescott is his his savior his pickup of the week though Dewan Harris gets 26 points I would have to say that would be his uh, knight in shining armor but the real knight in shining armor Jimmy Graham Monday Night Football he gets 30 points to take the win. Buffalo's defense was on the uh, was on Jeremy's team, who got 10 points, but thanks to Jimmy Graham, his two touchdowns, two one-handed touchdowns. One hand, oh, those were amazing touchdowns, by the way. If you watch that game, that, well, those were impressive touchdowns. That's what won the game for you. So good job, Travis. You are really quiet. That division you're in is super tight. I'll get to those in a minute. Natty Ice. Another squeaker. Holy cow. 
Ryan, you got to be hating your defense. Negative four points. You would have won if you just played a defense on a bye. That's sometimes you know you just got to say I'm just going to play a defense on a bye and I might win because you would have. Negative four points and what it won was what was it was it um uh, what was it Sunday night football Emmanuel Sanders that's what it was Emmanuel Sanders did nothing all game and then finally somewhere in the fourth quarter probably he got enough points to take a two point win <laughs> good job Natty Ice Dirty Engines versus Pink Taco another super nail biter. <laughs> I didn't even notice how close it was until right now. Um, oh, that's right, because Pink Taco had Christine Michael, who you and Doug and Doug Baldwin, Christine Michael and Doug Baldwin, and oh, and um, um, oh, that's what won it. That's right. And Dirty Engines had Seattle's defense. Christine Michael did nothing. Got one touchdown on a one-yard touchdown. I'm shocked they gave it to him, but. Kudos that Christine Michaels got it. Doug Baldwin had a good game, just no touchdown. But what won the game for Dirty Engines was a one one last sack in the with what was it? Um, Tyrod Taylor driving down, trying to get in to throw a touchdown to win the game, even though he they didn't. One more sack is all he needed, and he got that sack with probably 30 seconds left in the game to win the game. Chris, that had to hurt pretty bad. <laughs> that was a great. This was a great fantasy week to watch football. I mean, it was a fun. This was a fun week to watch football. Chiefs game, not as exciting to watch because the Chiefs could not stop the run. How can you not stop the run on this team? Chris Ivory and T.J. Yeldon looked like I don't know Walter Payton and freaking Barry Sanders out there. Even though we won, that was not, it was what they say, ugly win. That was an ugly win because I don't know how we won that game. So the standings right now, Pink Taco is now tied with the Dirty Engines at 6-4 and four, and Natty Ice 5-5. Five and five. Those three are neck and neck. Guess what? Only four weeks left till playoffs. Four. Anything can happen. The next division... I'm at eight and two. Pocket Rockets one game behind me at seven and three, and Wynum Diamond at six and four. Three teams all fighting for it here too. And the next division wide open too. I mean, this is the tightest. I mean, there's only two teams that are just they're out. You know they're out of it. Two teams are out of it. Ryan and Steve are both gone. Just count them out. Popsicles. Six and four, first place with doo doo at five and five, and then first name crap and banana hot seat at four and six. This is the tightest, tightest division. This is this whole league is just so tight. Everyone has a chance. I just don't want to choke. Don't choke, please. Don't choke. Anyway, um, that's it. Uh, Cubs win the World Series. I didn't haven't got a talk to you since then. Cubs win the World Series. I didn't really. I was rooting more towards the Indians. I find myself. I, I like both teams, but I was rooting more towards the Indians since Game One. I mean, I was just on the Indians bandwagon, and I still am. I, I still. I just was really. I mean, I was happy for the Cubs, but you're up three games to one. Was it three games to one? It was one to one. No, it was. Three get no, it was one to one. And they lost. Yeah, it was three games to one. Yeah, I thought for sure all they gotta do is win one of the next three, and they get it. I can't believe they choked that away. I mean, can't believe that. But it's over. Congratulations, Cubs. And uh, Salvador Perez gets another Gold Glove. So happy for that guy. That guy is like. Awesome. I wish he was like my brother. I mean, I'm all, am I tan enough? Do I, do I sound like him? I think he's the greatest guy. You know, he's a very. I, I'm trying to. Is that like an Arnold Schwarzenegger talk right there? No. Let me try to do him again. He's great. He's great. He's really great. No, that's still Arnold. Dang it. I don't think I'll ever be his brother. I wish I was. Salvador would be the coolest guy to hang out with. Anyway, um, go Chiefs. Carolina coming up. Really going to be tough. They just played a, both teams. You know, it's funny. Carolina played a horrible game in L.A., and we just played a horrible game in Kansas City. We both came off of wins, 
two ugly wins. So hopefully we'll come out on top. I think the Chiefs, knock on anything, at the beginning of the year, I said they're going to finish 11-5 and five or 12-4. and four. I still think they're going to finish 11-5 and five or 12-4, and four, which could win the division. Could win the division. Just saying. Just saying. Cross your fingers. Have a good week, fellas. And hope you voted. I don't really care who wins because both are going to suck. I mean, Hillary's going to really suck. Trump's just going to suck because I don't want to hear him talk with his hands for four years. And then what kind of voice am I doing? That's not his voice. He likes to do this a lot and this. He likes to just, and he does this, like this. Like, you would think he's almost, almost a fairy. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know who's going to win. I really don't care because either way, we're screwed. I don't know how they both got nominated for their positions. Good luck. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next four years unless you move to Canada.